This lesson is on algebraic expressions. The top equation is what I mean by algebraic expressions. Any number sentence with a letter in it instead of a blank or another number. Now when most students see this with the letter in it, it, it tends to throw them off and make them question, oh no, what do I do? Because what they're trying to do is solve for n and figure out how much n equals. So what I tell students to do first is really just take out the letter completely and fill it in with a blank. So 36 minus blank is equal to 25. Now they're really looking for the missing piece and it looks a little simpler to them. Then I have them sing a little song that I made up to help them figure out which process they need to use to solve this answer. This uh, tune is to Happy Birthday. If the blank is in the middle for subtraction or division, do the same as the symbol to get the answer right. So after they, singing that song, they would say, oh, the blank is in the middle, and it's subtraction or division, so I'm going to do the same as the symbol, which the symbol is subtraction, so they're going to know to subtract. They will take 36 minus 25, which will give them 11. Now, one thing that I tell students just to make it easier because sometimes they want to take 25 minus 36 is I tell them the big number goes on top. Unfortunately, that only works in fourth grade because in fifth grade they'll do integers where they get into negative numbers, but not in fourth grade. So in fourth grade we put the big number on the top. So then they would just fill in the answer of 11. Then I always ask the students to go back and check and make sure that it makes sense that a big piece minus a smaller number will give us another small number. All right, let's look at another problem. If I have y minus 57 is equal to 204. First thing that I would have students do is rewrite this problem and put a blank instead of the letter. So blank minus 57 is equal to 204. Then they would sing the song. If the blank is in the middle for subtraction and division, do the same as the symbol to get the answer right. Now my blank is not in the middle. So now they would say, okay, I'm not going to do the same as the symbol. I'm going to do the opposite, which the opposite of subtracting is adding. The opposite of taking something away is giving something. So I'm going to add the two numbers together. 204 plus 57. That will give us 261. So now in my blank, I can put 261. Now I need to check to make sure it makes sense. 261 minus 57 would give me 204. Does that make sense? And the answer is yes, it does make sense. All right, now let's look at a multiplication algebraic expression. I've told students that there are three ways to write multiplication. There's the time symbol, the dot, and no symbol at all. Anytime that they see one of these three symbols, they know that it's a multiplication problem. So for this example, 3w is equal to 612. First thing that they would do, as always, is rewrite it and put a blank. Now the problem with this is there is no symbol. So I, they also need to put in that it's a times problem. 3 times blank equals 620, 612. So now they'd sing the song. If the blank is in the middle for subtraction and division, do the same as the symbol to get the answer right. Well, my blank is in the middle, but it's not subtraction or division. So I'm not going to do the same as the symbol. I'm going to do the opposite. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So down at the bottom, they will need to take these numbers and divide them. 612 divided by 3. Now I'm going to use my process for long division, which is boxing it up. If you haven't seen the video on long division yet, I suggest you watch this to understand what I'm doing. So I box up my numbers first and then write my times tables for 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. I've gotten where I wanted to go, which is the number in the box. So then outside, top, bottom and subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring it to the next box. Now I'm looking for a 1. Go to the side. 3 is too big, so I've got to go back. 
outside, top, bottom, and I would subtract and move it to the next box. Now 12. I haven't gotten to 12 yet, so I have to keep going. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. I got where I wanted to go, so I circle it, outside, top, bottom, 12 minus 12 is 0, so there's no remainder. So in this blank would be 204. Now we need to ask, does it make sense that three sets of 204 would be about 612? Yes, logically that makes sense. So they know that they've gotten in the right direction. So now W is equal to 204. Let's look at one more problem. If I have W divided by 6 is equal to 360. The first thing that I, did, I would do is rewrite it and put a blank. Blank divided by 6 is equal to 360. Then again, I would sing the song. If the blank is in the middle for subtraction or division, do the same as the symbol to get the answer right. My blank is not in the middle, so I'm not going to do the same as the symbol. I'm going to do the opposite. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So what I would do is take 360 times 6. 0 times 6 is 0. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 3 is 21. So 2160 would go in this blank. Then I need to see if it makes sense. Does it make sense that 2160 broken up into 6 pieces would be 360 pieces each? And yes, it does. It makes sense that a huge number divided by a small number would give us a middle number. It makes sense.